Hi everyone, this is Ms. Torres, and we are going to continue learning about our 3D shapes. As a review, the four 3D shapes that we will be learning about this chapter are the sphere, the cube, cylinder, and cone. Those are the four 3D shapes we're learning, but today we are going to focus on the cube. Here is a cube. I want you to think about how would you describe this shape? What do you see? What do you notice? Does this shape have any curves like a circle? Hmm. Does it have flat surfaces? Well, we see here our cube has flat surfaces and many sides. We also notice that the cube has vertices or corners. So now that we have an idea of what a cube is like, let's move on. So we are going to identify, name, and describe the cube, which we have started already. So what we're going to do on this page is sort your shapes. On this side over here, I want you to sort them. Which ones are cubes and which ones are not cubes? Let's start with the very first shape. Is this a cube? Hmm, let's see, I have a shape that has curves. Is that a cube? Well, a cube has flat surfaces, not curves. So this is not a cube. This is a sphere. Our next shape right here, is this a cube? We see a flat surface, but it also has curves. And we know that cubes don't have curves. So that is a cone, not a cube. Let's move it to the not a cube side. The third shape right here. This is our cube. It has our flat surfaces. It doesn't really have any curves. This is our cube, so I'm going to put this over on the cube side. Last but not least, the shape down at the bottom. Is this a cube? I want you to point to which box it goes in. Cube or not a cube? Well, we notice that it has flat surfaces, but they also still have curves. So this is not a cube. This is a cylinder. So I'm going to move the shape into not a cube side. All right, let's move on to the next page. Now we are going to look at the cube and circle the words that describe a cube. This first one right here, this is flat surface. Does a cube have a flat surface? Can you stack something on top of it? Hmm. Yes, as we said earlier, a cube does have flat surfaces. These surfaces up here are flat. So I'm going to circle flat surface. The next one at the bottom says curved surface. Does a cube have a curve? It does not, so we're going to leave that blank. Okay, let's move down to number two. Use a cube to count how many flat, flat surfaces and we're going to write the number. Now, if you have a cube at home, you can count your cube at home. On this lesson, we're going to count the ones that we can see first. So on this pink cube, we have one side here, 
We have two flat surfaces, three, and then we have some that we can't really see. We have four, one on the bottom, five, one on the back, and six, one on the other side. A cube has six flat surfaces, so I'm going to write the number six for six flat surfaces. Now we're going to move on to identifying cubes. We're going to go through each row and you're going to point to the cube. In our first row, we have a soccer ball, looks like a toy, and a drum. Which one of those is a cube? Go ahead and point to that for me. This one right here is our cube. Let's move to the middle row. Looking at each one of those, it looks like we have a pillow, an ice cream cone, and a box with a baseball in it. I want you to point to the shape that is a cube. Remember, a cube has flat surfaces, six flat surfaces, and it does not have any curves. Did you point to it? Okay, you should have pointed to this shape. This is the cube. Lastly, on the bottom row, we have a block, a tent looks like, and a watermelon. Go ahead and point to the cube. And you should have pointed to the block right here. We have our flat surfaces. We have the six flat surfaces that makes up the cube. Next page. At the top, you have two shapes. You are going to listen to my story and guess which shape it is. Are you ready? Hmm. I am a shape that has six flat surfaces. Which shape am I? Go ahead and point. Which shape do you see has six flat surfaces? This one does. This is our cube with six flat surfaces. Now, if you have a paper and pencil at home and you would like to try number five, that would be awesome. Number five says, draw to show what you know about a real object that is shaped like a cube. So I want you to think about things at home, things in our classroom, things outside that are shaped like a cube. Now the first thing that comes to my mind, I'll give you a hint, they are in our classroom. And we use them for math. Some of us might use them for free choice time. And you can put them together. We have one of our cubes. A cube is shaped like a cube. Now, it does have this little part on the end here. But the main cube is right here. Let's think of something else. This is something you can use to play a board game or other games. And it's white. And it has numbers on the side or dots. Maybe it'll look like this. This is called a dice. A dice is also shaped like a cube. What did you draw? 
Now, I want you to also look around your house and see if you can find anything that is shaped like a cube. Now remember, our cube has flat surfaces, six flat surfaces, and no curves. And that is our cube.